Hi everyone, this is William from the Godzilla Files, and today I have a special guest, my girlfriend, Veronica. Hi! So, we're going to be watching a movie today. Yeah, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Space Monster. So, I'm a big Godzilla fan. The person over here isn't. Um, I don't think you've seen any, have you? Have uh, I forced you to watch any? Yeah, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> I've seen, I saw the new one. Oh, the 2014 one? I guess. Well, that doesn't help at all. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to watch it. We're going to see what she thinks about it. Do um, you have any ideas about this film just by looking at the DVD cover? It looks very old. Um, ooh, 1964. Um, I like, I know I like King Ghidorah. I think he looks cool, and I've seen like bits and parts of him. So... I liked what I saw, so I have hope. Am I going to pay attention the whole time? Probably not, but I'm going to try to. I'm going to ask a lot of questions, probably, and he's going to get mad at me. Yeah, most likely. That's the honest truth. <laughs> but it's going to be exciting either way. So we'll be back, and we're going to watch the movie now. All right. And we're back. We kind of finished the movie a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And so before she forgets everything, we wanted to kind of give our opinion on it. So I guess I'll start with you. What do you uh, think of it overall? Start with me and post everyone else. Yeah. Um, I liked it, which uh, kind of surprised me some. Now granted, it was made a long time ago, and some of the things that I look at, I'm like, okay, that looks really stupid or something like that, but taking into account that it was made a long time ago, I understand why it looks like that, and then it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> it's good to look at it and be like, no, it's gonna look like they're not real. It's gonna look fake, mm. and then like you watch it and you're like, oh, it's pretty okay. Okay. Was there anything like favorite that you liked? What was your favorite thing? Well, I've always loved Mothra. I always thought she was my favorite. And, um, so when she was in there and she was, the whole fight scene between the four, uh, Rodan, Mothra, King Ghidorah, and Godzilla, Mothra, just how she was handling herself and getting thrown around, I found it really funny and that's why it was my favorite part. Mm -hmm. But, um, I also liked the princess. Like everything, whenever the princess was on screen, I always was like, she's really, really pretty. And I always loved, I always loved to watch her because I thought she was very good and very good at being like deadpan when she had to be. And then very like, um, what's the word? Emotional when she had to be not a Martian. Okay. And a high five for remembering all the monster names. You know I know the monster <laughs> names. Still. Something. Um, something that she pointed out that I didn't realize beforehand was that in the English dub, they call Mothra by a he, which is kind of strange because she's a girl. <laughs> that's that's one of the reasons why I always loved Mothra because she was a she. And then yeah. they just like, he's saying, I was like, Whoa, no, you, there's like 50 he's. You just need to give me the one she. Like, stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, Is there another she at all? Another? Well, later on, there's like Biolante. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's, a, that's considered a female. Because well, it was a girl. Yeah, besides that, um, I don't think there's anything else. No one else, anyway. Yeah, so. He, Not that I'm aware of. He. So, what about, um, let's see, King Ghidorah? King Ghidorah, I thought he was cool. The only, like, I only had, like, two real complaints about him, and that was, like I said before, the head thing. Like, I understand he has three heads, and they're using, like, a wire to control all of them, but at times his heads were just kind of, like, flailing everywhere, and I'm like, okay, this isn't very organized or planned as, of what's happening. Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like someone was, like, shaking the wires, <laughs> and it wasn't in, like, I just looked at it, and I was like, this is making me very distracted. Like, I couldn't pay attention to what anyone was saying because I was just, like, staring at the heads. And the last thing was the um, lightning bolts. The lightning bolts looked like stickers from the 80s, and, like, they're really bad. They're really bad. See, I'm going to disagree with you on that. I think they look oh, good. They look I, I don't know really why, bad. like, you pointed that one out, but... I don't... Like, I didn't really mind when they were in, like, they were 
like hitting things cuz like mm-hmm. it come and show and showed it hitting things yeah. but for some reason when it came out of the mouth it looked like it was like it didn't look like from the side view it didn't look like it was coming out from here it looked like it was coming out from like his cheek like it wasn't aligned properly or something hmm maybe i don't know i looked i don't know i still think it looks good for today no matter no matter what so um let's see anything like particularly that you didn't like you know it was there anything that you, that made you say, "What the hell am I watching?" Cook. <laughs> the I thought the only thing that was really like, "Why am I watching this?" was the whole point of if you want to go. So this was the first one the King Ghidorah or Ghidorah or well, however you want to say it um, was in, right? Yeah, first appearance. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they were like. Oh, it's his first movie. Like, I want to watch King King Ghidorah's first movie, and like, it takes him like an hour to show up. I don't know if it it took. I don't know if it took him an hour. It took him probably, a very long. Probably time. takes him about a half hour, forty yeah, minutes. Yeah, I was like, it took him a long time to show up. I'm like, and then everyone else showed up by then, and I was like, why am I watching this? If I were to watch this for him, why am I watching this if it takes so long for him to show up? But when gotta say though, his entrance was amazing. <laughs> it was really cool. Yeah. No, I mean, I I agree with you. He kind of takes a little too long. He's kind of lazy. <laughs> he wants to sleep. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I pretty much think the movie's a classic from the Showa period anyway. So, um, Showa period's like the first set of Godzilla films. Um, you know, the whole movie itself is pretty much overall what you would expect from a Godzilla movie. Um, it's also the first one with like multiple monsters fighting each other so that's a really still a really cool sight to see i think the only other godzilla movie i've seen with you was destroy all monsters or however you however it said that's how i remembered it in my head destroy all monsters well that is one that that's, also has king Ghidorah in it yeah that was that had um Angerus in it yeah had a couple of, it actually had all of them names. <laughs> so um yeah definitely strongly recommend i would give it like a solid seven out of ten and that's coming from a non-Godzilla fan. Yeah. I would probably give it an 8 out of 10 uh, myself, just just because of everything that's in it. I feel like the reason it didn't get higher for me is because I don't know the backstory of everyone. Mm-hmm. I don't know the movies before it. I mean, really, you, the two movies that I think you would had to have seen before that is probably Rodan. But I feel like you're more invested if you saw the ones before it. Yeah. Oh, I'm no, not I, as I, invested. I just watched the movie cause, to watch it. No, I agree. I mean, good news is that like you can watch that movie and not have to know what's going on. Yeah, no, 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 that is good. But, um, I looked at I looked at Will and I was like, do I need to know anything for this? Because I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, like Rodan had its own movie before before this one, which explains like at the end of that one, he kind of falls into a volcano, I which was, explains. I was really surprised that Rodan was. Um, before King Ghidorah, because I always knew King Ghidorah as, like, more popular. And to know that Rodan came first just showed how much more popular he was. Because I knew of King Ghidorah way before I knew of Rodan. Yeah, I mean... And he's was... in a lot more things. What, King Ghidorah? Yeah, isn't he? Yeah. No, I mean, Rodan's popular. Rodan was kind of, like, one of Toho's, like, kind of first figuring out the whole giant monster in color. Mm-hmm. So I... I think that was their first colored um, monster movie, Rodan. Um, pretty good. I recommend it. But, um, yeah, so King Ghidorah wasn't created until the Godzilla series. Okay. So Rodan started off just like Mothra did, outside the Godzilla series. Then they came, then they just kind of combined them. Okay. Sort of like what they do <clears throat> now with like the Marvel films and DC films. They were doing that way beforehand. Ah, so... And that's like with the Shiro monsters, when you have King Ghidorah, you have all of them. Those are almost all of them who were in their own films at one point, or have been appearing in um, Godzilla films. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, everybody. Um, Thanks for watching. If you want to follow my girlfriend here, she does have her own channel, which I'll leave in the um, video description. Only watch it unless you're going to watch it as... This is completely done sarcastically, stupidly, and not seriously. So probably everything you would want in a video channel. I think it's funny. (laughs) I mean...
I like to make fun of myself. As do you. Yeah, it's true. So there's some funny videos in there. You'll like it. All right, everybody. Talk to you later.